Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Law 11 of the year 2021, adding a new Article 261 to the Penal Code as promulgated by Decree Law 15 of the year 1976. The new article reads as follows. If there are multiple participants in one of the crimes stipulated in this chapter and one of the offenders hastens to report it to the judicial or administrative authorities before seals, signatures, stamps, imprints, public signs, metal plates, counterfeit or forged postage stamps are used and before the preliminary investigation begins, this is considered a legally mitigating excuse and he or she may be exempted from punishment if the judge deems it appropriate. The provisions of the preceding paragraph shall apply to the offenders who enables the authorities to apprehend the other perpetrators of the crime during the investigation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met today with the Minister of Economy of the Sisterly United Arab Emirates, Abdullah bin Tulga Al Marri, on the sidelines of their participation in the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in the Russian Federation. During the meeting, they emphasized the depth of the bilateral ties in various fields and reviewed the efforts further developing them in the interests of the two countries and people. The head of the Bashkortostan, Radi Khabirov, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al-Zayani. Khabirov welcomed the minister, expressing his appreciation for the bilateral ties, stressing the importance of exchanging visits between officials to enhance friendship and cooperation. He entrusted the Minister of Foreign Affairs with conveying his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, wishing Bahrain further development and growth. For his part, Dr. Zayani expressed his pleasure with his visit to Russia in the form and praised the bilateral ties on all levels. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Russian Deputy Foreign Minister and Presidential Special Envoy for the Middle East and Africa, Mikhail Bogdanov. During the meeting, the two sides stressed the depth of the bilateral ties, which are based on mutual respect and appreciation. The two sides also reviewed developments in the Middle East and its political and security challenges to reinstate permanent comprehensive peace for the benefit of its people, along with a number of topics of common interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Chairman of the Presidium of the Russian Association for International Cooperation, Sergei Klashnikov, and Secretary General of the Association, Vladimir Polozankov. During the meeting, the Minister noted the close and ever-growing relations between the Kingdom and the Russian Federation, and expressed the keenness to develop economic, industrial, and commercial cooperation in the interests of the two friendly countries and people. For his part, Klashnikov expressed his appreciation for the bilateral ties and noted the Russian Federation's aspirations to strengthen them, further strengthening them on all levels and wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain continued progress and advancement. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Chairman of the Russian Defense and Foreign Affairs Council, Fyodor Lukyanov. The meeting discussed uh, the bilateral ties between the Kingdom and the Russian Federation and ways in which they can be further enhanced. Matters of mutual interest, including those relating to the region's security, were also discussed in the meeting. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Russian President's advisor, Anton Kobyakov. The minister discussed the long history of the city and praised the conference as it resembles or it represents a platform to exchange ideas on political and economic challenges. He praised the bilateral ties and the two countries' keenness to further develop them. For his part, Kobyakov welcomed the minister's participation and praised the kingdom's keenness to develop the bilateral ties. He looked forward to increasing investment opportunities wishing the kingdom ongoing progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met the Speaker of the National Assembly of Serbia, Ivica Dacic. The Minister expressed pride in the bilateral relations and stressed his keenness to further develop them bilaterally. Dr. Zayani also praised the results of the recent visit of Serbia to Bahrain and the talks he had with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which revealed a mutual desire to develop the bilateral ties. He 
noted the successful visit of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to Serbia last April, which contributed to the consolidation of bilateral cooperation frameworks between the two friendly countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Ablatif Ben Rashid Zayani, also met the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Hungary, Peter Zizerto. During the meeting, they emphasized the strength of bilateral relations and the growing ties on all levels and reviewed modalities to enhance joint bilateral cooperation for common interests, besides issues of topics of common concern. The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saleh, held a virtual meeting with the Middle East Director of the WHO. She praised the efforts of the WHO and its ongoing cooperation with the Kingdom in terms of strategy development, affirming the importance of further enhancing the relations between the two parties. For his part, the WHO Regional Director praised the leading role of the Kingdom in the field of health and expressed admiration for its achievements in dealing with the pandemic, which he said is a model to be emulated. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi praised the sincere efforts of Bahrain led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa to boost Arab solidarity and promote pan-Arab work so as to deter threats and foster regional security and stability. The Egyptian President conveyed his greetings to His Majesty the King as he received today Arab Parliament Speaker Adl Abdurrahman Lasumi in the presence of Speaker of Egypt's House of Representatives Dr. Hanafi Jibali and Foreign Minister Samah Shukri. During the meeting, President Assisi was granted the Leader Medal, the highest decoration bestowed by the Arab Parliament on their Majesties and Excellencies, Kings and Heads of State, in tribute for their great services to the Arab nation. The medal was conferred on the Egyptian President in tribute for his tireless efforts, which are reflected in Egypt's conscious and discreet policies in serving Arab issues. It was also a tribute for his efforts in fast-tracking development in Egypt, which yielded many accomplishments that covered all aspects of life. President Sisi thanked the Arab Parliament for the high-profile medal, praising its support to Egypt and preserving its national security. He also commended the Parliament's efforts as a platform for dialogue and democracy, as a popular driving force for pan-Arab work to serve the supreme interests of the Arab nation. He stressed Egypt's support to the Arab Parliament to achieve its goals and serve Arab issues. Arab, Arab Parliament Speaker al Asume expressed his honor in meeting the Egyptian President, commending Egypt's role in protecting the Arab national security and promoting pan-Arab work. The Customs President and King Fahad Causeway General Authority, KFCA Vice Chairman Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Governor of the Saudi General Authority of Zakat and Tax, GAZT, and Chairman of KFCA, Sahel Mohammed Abn Abanami, who also or who paid an inspection visit to the exit point at the King Fahad Causeway. He stressed key KFCA projects and plans to enhance performance, develop systems, and optimize the use of modern technologies in order to serve this vital facility that links the two countries and to contribute to raising the efficiency of work and means to support the tourism and commercial movement. GAZT Governor thanked KFCA Vice Chairman for his keenness on supporting and following up on the implementation of projects, commending the efforts of the security directors on the Bahraini side of the causeway. The Assistant Undersecretary for Domestic and Foreign Trade at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa, announced in that control over children's toys began from the first of this month. The illegal toys were seized during an inspection campaign to target products including slime and battery operated toys without a proper lid, which contain harmful chemicals. To speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by Senior Standard Specialist at Testing and Meteorology Directorate at the Ministry Engineer Abdul. Welcome to the news, Engineer Al Ghanem. Um, uh, hello. Can uh, you testing the meteorology? Yes. Yeah, carry on. Sorry. Can you please tell us more about the ministry's role to strengthen monitoring over children's toys and what is the new regulatory program? Um, basically, the testing and meteorology directorate has been controlling the toys product since 2011. And that is in the accordance with the Ministerial Order Number 109 for year 2010. And uh, in year 2015, the Ministerial Order was amended and replaced by the Ministerial Number 1 for year 2015 regarding the Gulf Technical Regulation for Children's Toys. Um, the new measures, which began on the 1st of June 2021, are called the Confirmity Assistance Procedure. 
for the economic operators. A mm -hmm. uh, commercial toys product that imported to Bahrain through the custom ports must comply with the new requirements and measures. Right. What are these new conformity assessment procedures that are imposed by the Ministry's Testing and Meteorological Directorate on toys products received from commercial for the purpose through the Kingdom's customs ports? Uh, the new conformity assessment procedures are requirements specified by the Gulf Technical Re Regulation issued in the Ministerial Order since 2010. Um, the second phase of the technical regulation was enforced uh, due to the level of safety of children's toys appearing in the local market. Uh, we have noted uh, during the past three years a number of accidents and injuries resulting from the use of toys, uh, some of which were critical cases mm -hmm. and require medical intervention. So it is very important to raise the ceiling of control over children's toys uh, to maintain the safety of the citizen and resident children in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Right. Thank you very much. The, on the phone was with us the Senior Standard Specialist at Testing and Meteorology Directorate at the Ministry, Engineer Abdullah Ghanem. The Kingdom of Bahrain's National Health Regulatory Authority, the Nahra, has approved Sotrovimab for emergency use, a new drug by GlaxoSmithKline, the GSK, for the treatment of COVID-19. The decision to add Sotrovimab to COVID-19 treatment protocols follows emergency use approval by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, as well as a comprehensive review of GSK's clinical trials. Safety and efficacy evidence demonstrates a reduction in the number of cases requiring hospitalization for more than 24 hours and a reduction in the number of fatalities by 85 percent when administered at an early stage of treatment. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 969,225 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 805,845 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to recommit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 26,863 with 3,005 recoveries, 1,936 registered new cases and 22 deaths. 868 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,064 are contacts of active cases and four are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. And before we end the news, here's a reminder of our top stories. The Minister of Health holds a virtual meeting with the Middle East Director of the WHO. And the national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout with more than 800,000 people having received both doses.